Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a lockdown command since it was requested by one of our subscribers in the Discord server. So now, let's hop into the video. Alright, so first of all, we're gonna go to our commands folder and then to our admin and let's create a new file and name it lockdown.js. Alright, so let's put our command handler here and let's use over here lockdown and I will show you how to like mm, uh, unlock all of them again easily. So Let's first check if the person has permissions, so exclamation means no, so if he if the message dot member dot has permission uh, let's say manage channels so if you don't have that return message dot channel dot send in the same channel he executed the command, we won't say you don't have enough permissions to uh, execute this command. Alright, and now we want to check if the bot has permissions, so has permission, and let's put here uh, uh, manage channels all right so we're gonna return message let me just copy this put it over here you, uh, I don't have enough permissions all right enough all right so now we want to get all the server channels so message dot Oops, message.channels.cache or message.guild, I mean message.guild.channels.cache. Alright, like this, we got all the channels, alright? So we want to use a function called for each, like this, for each. Alright, and here, for each channel, alright, of those channels, so if for each one channel, Alright, like that. We want to do uh, basically just lock it, make the person cannot talk in it. So, uh, do you see this part over here? Let's just copy it and let's paste it over here. Alright, let me just remove the message from here. Alright, perfect. So, uh, here. I throw it in the try and catch in case there is an error where the bot couldn't actually uh, like change the permissions. So we did try uh, channel dot over uh, update overwrite and then we got here that at every one role we search in the message dot gold of trolls every role ha every server have a role called at everyone for sure. So we just got uh, the at everyone role. And then we just updated their permissions to send messages to false. And then catch if there's an error, we want to say console.log e. That means the error over here. Perfect. So outside the for each uh, function, we want to say here message.channel.send successfully. Uh, lock, mm, locked all the channels apparently. All right. Also, if there is an error for each channel, we want to say like return message dot channel dot send. Let me move the console dot log up here. All right. We won't see. Uh, won't say. I couldn't lock, and we won't say the channel's name. All right. So in case the bot couldn't lock a channel, it will say I couldn't lock this that channel. 
So now let's try it out. Will you be able to talk over here in this channel? Can you talk that? All right, he can. So what if, can you try to say equal lockdown? Perfect, so the person don't have permission. So if I did it, successfully locked all the channels. If you, if you can talk send, if you cannot react on this message. Okay, let me go to another channel. Let's say here in general, all right. Let me ping you there. Can you talk in that one? All right, he can't. Let's go to report the last one. Make sure, all right. So, can you talk? Okay, he cannot. Now, to just uh, unlock all the channels easily after we just locked it, we gonna just change this false to true. That's all we can, that's all we need to do to just unlock it. Look, now I will just execute the same command, but I have here true. So, here, easy. All right, so now, it just unlocked all the channels. Can you send anything in React? Uh, as you'll see. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it and ciao.